guys, this is Erin. Hello. Um, this is now what I'm using for my skin. And yes, there's a lot of products. As you can tell, they are mostly e.l.f. products, including the tools here. Um, you know, I still have the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay in my routine. Um, I mean, I used it yesterday because I use it every Monday. And, like, I don't know what happened, but it was like it suddenly started to do what it had advertised it would do. So, it's just... Now I'm kind of debating whether I should continue buying it or just try doing something else. Um, but that's, that's a few weeks away yet. Let me see if I can... Like, if you can see where the powder is right now. That's how much I have. That's going to last me for a couple more weeks. So, it's not like there's any rush for me to decide. Um, I was able to find the Grapefruit Oil-Free Acne Wash by Neutrogena. And I love grapefruit, and unfortunately I'm allergic to it. But this doesn't break my face out or do anything like that. Um... You're supposed to use this once, or sorry, twice a day, but since I have so many other products, I kind of go like maybe once, um, once a day or every few days. Um, so basically, as far as the e.l.f. skincare is concerned, I have everything but two. There you go, two. Um, I have... This is the Illuminating Eye Cream. So basically you would put this on in like the morning time. Um, and it's supposed to really nourish the, the eyes and stuff like that. Um, you know, it does tell you to dab it on. And I gotta tell you, you really need to just dab it. You can't rub it in because I did that and it burned like heck. Um... You know, as far as the packaging is concerned, I really like it. I think it's really fancy and pretty. Um, the next product, hopefully you guys have watched it on YouTube, but if not, it's really fun. Um, this is a hydrating bubble mask. And basically what you do is you take off the top plastic here and you push down on both sides of this white button, basically. And the product will come out. And it'll come out like a gel. And then what you do to apply it is you use this uh, spatula. And you take it, you scoop the gel off of the applicator. And you apply it to your face. Well, as you're applying it to your face, you start to hear it kind of bubble. It's almost like pop rocks a little bit the sound although this sounds quieter but this spatula also has a little brush tip at the end and that's there so that when the bubbles go away you can really like work in that gel because it does go back into a gel form um but it's it's a lot of fun and you know it's it feels really good it smells really good um, speaking of which, this one doesn't really have a scent. Like, nothing really has too much of a scent to it, which is always good because sometimes the stuff that they put in to make it smell good can irritate your face to no end, too. Um, the next mask that they have, because there's only two in their line, at least right now, is the Hydrating Gel Mask. And, um... It, it really does. It makes your skin feel very, very hydrated and you're just kind of enjoying it almost like the spa. And it does have directions on the back as well as there are directions on the packaging that you get. I love the packaging that it came in so I always kind of like saved it just in case there was extra like instructions or it needed to be returned one of the two. Um, the next product here is the 
soothing serum, soothing hydrating serum. And basically you're supposed to put this on essentially before you put on any lotions or anything like that. And it's got a little pump under there, which I think is really pretty. And then, you know, it also has directions. Everything has directions on the back. Um, for me, I find that when I rub it in, it's kind of sticky after that. Like, I don't really notice it being so much hydrating as it is sticky. Um, these next items, the one that you would use basically to start off is the Daily Face Cleanser. And they completely, they must have completely redone the recipe for everything because when I first bought the e.l.f. daily cleanser it burned my skin like it was a chemical burn and you know now I can use it just fine without any issues whatsoever um, which is really nice because I like the clean feel that it has um, but that's what you would start your day out with and then at least two days out of the week they want you to do an exfoliating scrub and the scrub is really this one is like it does feel like it's really scratching your face which I don't necessarily like which is partly why I have the grapefruit one in, in the mix but I still use this anyway I'm just extremely gentle about it and I avoid like my really sensitive areas in the skin so after you've done the daily cleanser and the exfoliating scrub, you would take your daily hydration moisturizer and, um, you know, put about, I'd say like a little over a dime sized amount into your fingers and just moisturize it all over your face. Now there is one of these with SPF 15, but I preferred mine without the SPF. I just don't like smelling like sunscreen all the time. Um, another lovely thing that they have is they have these tools here. So I already showed you the spatula, that's for mask applications. This is actually like a, it's almost like it's, it's a rubber tip and you're supposed to be able to roll this on your face right after you've done a moisturizer. So it would be like this, um, and just like go away from your nose and just keep rolling it and that's supposed to help it get into the pores faster and then this last thing which I've been trying to get for a long time it's a dual sided face brush so basically like if you had let's say if you wanted to use the um, the daily face cleanser but you wanted it to give a little more oomph you would use either this side, which is extremely soft and work in circular motions, or if you really want to get deep down in there, you would use this side, which has like little, little bristles maybe is what you'd want to say, but like it's, I think it's latex actually that this is being used with, and it works great as well. Um, you know, it's, it's a great brush. So those are the three tools that you have. And this is the majority of the skincare line. I have two other ones that are in the mail right now. They're the last two. They're called the Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. Basically that one's supposed to melt off all of your, all of the day's makeup and um, like eyeliner, mascara, all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then the last one is Nourishing Night Cream. So basically that one, obviously you use that one at night. And the Illuminating Eye Cream is for the morning. It's supposed to take care of um, like dark shirt circles and stuff like that if you wake up like that. But yeah, basically I love the, like, the packaging's gorgeous to me and I love it. And so far I love everything that I've tried. So, I mean, this is really, really cool to me. Um, in the last video you would have seen like Cetaphil and all that and how it was supposed to be really gentle. 
Obviously, I don't have that out right now because it was not actually gentle, not on my face. Like, I could do one, but that was it. So, we'll flip over here. Hi! Um, basically, I'm just trying to get some kind of a facial routine that will, like, make... You know, it'll show me all the benefits of what Devon by Demi did, um, but not, like, eventually go bad on me, because it sucks. Um, but I do think that I'm going to repurchase the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Um, you know, I think it was maybe just because I put it on later in the day, so it had more to munch onto. I don't know. But all I know is I was really happy with the result afterwards. Um, you know, I'm going to keep my oil-free acne wash. That's the grapefruit um, scent. And obviously, I'm going to keep these e.l.f. products. They're great. And honestly, the whole system itself probably wasn't more than $50, maybe. And the thing that I like about this, partially, is that... I don't have to worry about, well, when's the next shipment coming in? I need to have most of this product used. What do I do? Now it can just be my time when I decide, you know, I need more of that or I need more of that. And, you know, I can do that now. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this so you guys could kind of get an idea of where I'm at right now. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.